After 15 clearances and 39 disposals against the Tigers, there has been plenty of discussion about the need to tag Lockie Neal. But what's the best way to nullify the superstar? G'day, it's Jordan Keneal here, and we're about to analyse that in this week's scouting report. The Demons have smashed the Lions in the two games they've played this year, and they've also done a pretty good job at slowing Lockie Neal down too. Neal had 22 disposals in the round 15 clash, and that got bumped up to 29 in round 23. But I actually think Melbourne's tactic in the later game was way more effective, even though Neal got more of the footy. So in round 15, the Dees basically went head to head with Neal early. Christian Petrarca goes for the footy more by himself. Neal stays put here, and he delivers a super clean handball. Later in the game, the Dees put Jack Viney to Neal, who paid him more attention and did a good job of getting his own footy too. To his credit, Neal was excellent at impacting the game around the ground. He was really good as a link-up guy and a ball user. He finished with 22 disposals, but his efficiency was in the high 70s and he had 7 clearances to go with it. It was a really different story in round 23. Yes, he had the 29 disposals, but he ran at just 48% efficiency and he only had 4 clearances. Angus Brayshaw had the job for most of the game and he was awesome. The first centre bounce of the game, Brayshaw got into his body early and he saw Jackson win the ball. Brayshaw held his ground while Neil went chasing. Then Gus got the clearance and that led to the first goal of the evening. For Big Max. Couldn't hit him. Melcham. Pick it. Oh, big start. What about that? At centre bounces, Brayshaw did a great job of getting into Neil's chest first up. Then he chooses to stick with him tightly, so he makes sure if Neil does get the footy, his possession's never clean. I also thought Tom Sparrow did a really nice job of that when he was given a chance. Around the ground, the Lions know how to get Neil free. They'll set screens so he can get through them and Brayshaw gets caught up. There is an option there to give yourself and Neil a little bit more space, which Brayshaw did here. Yes, Neil got to the ball first, but I love that Brayshaw was able to come in and get a smother, which forced the turnover. I think Brayshaw probably should be the first guy to get called up to tag again, but it's pretty clear that Viney, Sparrow and even James Harms could probably come in and do the job if needed. It should be a cracking game either way. We'll catch you next week.